Natural. Okay. Hi, this is Krista and I'm here with George and we're going to show you the fundamentals of a barbell squat within a rack. For the first part, we're going to go over the position of the barbell, how to take it away from the rack, feet positioning and correct posture. So I'm going to hand you over to George now, so he's going to take us through the procedure. Okay, cool. Um, hi guys, um, George here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Krista to kindly um, demonstrate this squat. So first of all, we're going to talk about placing the barbell on the back and stepping away safely, making sure that there's no uh, cause for injury or anything like that. So Krista, if you want to go approach the bar. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we approach it from the front here. So we're going to duck underneath here and take a step back away. The reason being is because it's far safer. Once you've done your squat, you don't want to be stepping back into the rack where you can't see the actual racks themselves. So you want to make sure that when you're in that position, you can step forward and then just place it back down like so. Okay, so Chris is going to duck underneath the bar now and she's going to place the bar. Just if you palpate here, you're going to place it on the bony ridge of the scapula just above that, um, so you don't want that resting on the neck because there's no cushioning from any muscle whatsoever and it can be very detrimental. You want to make sure that's resting on the trapezius where you've got nice cushioning and the barbell is nice and stable so it's not going anywhere. So Chris has got that here, so what she's going to do, she's going to stand up and lift that away from the rack. She's going to take a step backwards now. So what you can also see from here is that her posture is very straight. She's got her chest out, so if she had a logo or something like that on, on her chest, she'd be able to see that throughout the whole movement here. She's got a nice neutral spine, so there's no curvature there or any arching whatsoever. The bum sticks out as she descends into her squat. Feet position, for the time being, I mean, it's a contentious issue. Uh, you know, people always talking about what position should the feet be in. Should they be wide? Should the feet toes point out, should the knee go over the toes. For now, um, we're just going to have the feet about a shoulder width, um, hip to shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward, and we are going to look at different um, variations of that in the future anyway, so um, we won't worry about that too much for now. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of each. So she's, she's very stable. The most important thing at the moment is that she has true stability throughout the whole squat. So there's no point loading the bar up really heavy and doing a powerlifting type squat if you have no control whatsoever. So it doesn't matter if your toes are pointing out because there's just no control there. The pelvis is going all over the place. Um, you know, there's a little kink where it turns slightly. What she wants to make sure is that the pelvis is deadly straight. The bar is straight the whole time. She's going straight up and down in a linear motion and she can safely put that back down. So Krista is going to do a couple of squats now, just to about a 70 degree angle at the knees. So she's going to go just above thighs parallel to the floor. Perfect. And then she's going to slowly stand up. So there's a lot of emphasis here on the quadriceps group, the gluteals, the hamstrings, the calf muscles as well. Now with Krista, she's obviously an expert at this type of thing. So, um, her, the depth and range of motion she has is really spot on. However, I mean, if you're finding it difficult to descend properly, what you might have to do is just analyze what the issue is which is stopping you. So just keep going, Krista. So you might have your calf muscles um, holding you back from actually descending properly into a squat. And what we can do, we're gonna look at maybe raising up the hills to eliminate that and see if we can have any improvement there. But as Chris is showing that her squat is fine. So what I'm going to ask her to do now is just squat down to a bit lower. So her thighs are parallel to the floor. She's at about a 90 degree angle here. And then back up, Chris. That's fine. So she's got plenty of control here. If I'm analysing this as a trainer from a trainer's perspective, I'm looking at my client. I want to make sure that there's just complete control throughout the whole movement. I'm not worried about the weight you're lifting or anything like that. You know, like I said, no point piling on weight if you just cannot keep that movement controlled. Krista's got it very controlled here. It's nice and steady. She's holding it at the bottom and pushing up steadily. Okay, Krista? So you're going to rack that back up now. So you, she's going to walk forward. So take a step forward. Safely there, and she can descend back down so it's hooked safely. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to look at analysing um, the, the amount of force applied to the joints throughout the depth and the weight that we're going to be doing on our squat. And um, we'll continue as is. Thanks, Krista. Thank you. Cheers.